Hey team, how you doing? Gavin here from uh, Star Fresh Post Training and today's little video, myth number two, fats are bad for you. Such a massive, um, massive lie in the old uh, health and fitness industry um, and people will always tell you fat is bad for you, okay? Now, I think back um, when they originally, if you, if you associate with fat loss as well anyway, they used to tell you that um, fat like butter and olive oil, okay, um, are really, it's really calorie dense. Out of all the macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs, it's actually nine grams, uh, nine calories, um, let's get this right, nine calories per gram. So it's a little bit uh, uh, more calorie dense than the carbohydrate and protein, which is four calories a gram. So they thought, I know, let's just cut out the most, um, the most calorie dense food group we can, and you're gonna lose some weight, okay? The other thing as well is that it's basically people will say association associate with their uh, really bad health and um, you know cardiovascular health things like that um, and we know that this in this day and age that eating cholesterol isn't likely to uh, increase your cholesterol levels okay and eating fat isn't actually what makes you fat it's too many calories that makes you fat so yes you've got to kind of um, you know limit the amount of fat you eat but you do need fat in your diet because it's really really important um, and it's really dangerous if you don't don't get fat in your diet simply because you can't um, process certain um, certain vitamins, all right? Um, and you do need to eat omega threes and omega sixes, okay? That's really really important. Um, and as for saturated fat, okay, being the the main driver of cardiovascular disease, it's just a myth. It, it actually isn't true. Um, at the end of the day, trans fats are the ones you want to look out for simply because they're um, they're, they're highly processed, uh, they're industrial made, and they they make the fat itself. Um, solid at room temperature and they hydrogenate the oil to make it solid room temperature and it's found in lots of high calorie foods like cookies and biscuits and pastries and like that At the end of the day a little bit is going to kill you all right um, and you know you, you know you can enjoy a whole variety of different foods as long as you opt for the most healthy foods you possibly can and then obviously you know pick some some treats or junk food if you like you know just to keep your, your, your sanity but you don't need to cut out completely so the truth of the matter is, okay, is if you're in a calorie surplus, um, you know, a low-fat diet won't make you lose weight because at the end of the day, you're eating too many calories anyway. Um, you do need omega-3s and omega-6s in your diet. Saturated fat won't make you fat and give you a heart attack, but tr too many uh, trans fats might. If you want to lose weight, just keep control of your calories. Make sure you don't go over your calorie limit and you will be absolutely fine. Start fresh, guys. If you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers.